It's always a good day when our next guest is in Studio 1A. Okay, I need you to take a look at what we created here. It's pretty cool. So Mark Wahlberg bursts onto the scene as part of the 90s hip-hop group Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Ah, uh, yes. Mark and then, this. of course, he went on to Hollywood stardom. He earned not one but two Oscar nominations for his roles in The Departed and The Fighter. And Mark is also a very successful businessman. His uh, clothing brand, Municipal, just launched its first lifestyle sneaker called Origin, and he is here to talk about that and a whole lot more. Mark, good to see you this morning. Thank you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this just seems like a natural uh, evolution for you, just as your your fashion style uh, is an evolution. We talk about you know, met you as Marky Mark in the late this is 80s. Like my favorite. That's right. And over the over time, like the, the... you started putting more clothes on. Yeah. Right. And, <laughs> <laughs> Not and, always, but so, <laughs> not enough. Uh, Look so, at these. how would you say your style has so changed over time? Uh, well, I'm hoping that I still try to dress a little bit age appropriate, okay. but I've always kind of played it a little bit safer in the middle. You know, I kind of got into the baggy jeans thing for a while, but I never got too into the skinny jean thing. Oh, yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> but you know, always for me, it's always about comfort mm -hmm. and functionality. Now, luckily, because I've been in the business for a while, I could dress down a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, but, you know, I don't try to show up to a black tie event in T-shirts. Is, is there an 80, 90s look that you would want to have come Ooh. back? No. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> no. Although a couple of people dressed up as me uh, for Halloween, which was, was pretty cool. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a throwback. But, uh, no, I think, you know, I think it's good that, that I'm kind of getting older and, and, and realizing that I should dress age appropriate. You've done a lot of amazing things. Where does launching a shoe line rank? You, at all. you know, people always ask me, do you kind of sit back and think about all the things that you've accomplished or where you've come from to where I'm at now? And I don't normally, but I did certainly the other day when I was at a shoe launch. We had our first launch uh, at retail for the shoes. And I've been a shoe guy since I was a kid. I mean, I was always wearing hand-me-downs. I, <laughs> I would stuff my shoes with tissue, my brother's <laughs> shoes with tissue, socks, whatever oh, I could fun. to make them look like they fit. Yeah. My sister got me my first pair of Converse, uh, Chuck Taylor's. When I was a size one, I, I kept those clean until I couldn't, and I tried to put a hole in them. So <laughs> I've always, there. yeah, I've always been a big, big shoe guy. So that was like, I took in a moment, and it was the first time that I was, I was having so much fun at an event. I was, mm -hmm. I worked in a shoe store before, so I was in the back of the house. I was getting people sizes. I was trying them on for them. I was gladly kind of making fun of the shoes that they had come in with, <laughs> wear the shoes out, and thankfully, in our box, you also have a bag. So you can mm -hmm. put the shoe bag, you know, put your old shoes in there, and, but it's a big accomplishment. I feel like with shoes, I mean, there's a lot of shoes out there. How mm -hmm. do you reinvent the shoe? Like, how, do, how does it, how does the whole design process? Well, I always have to have a pair of shoes that I can work out with mm -hmm. that are really stable and firm and give me, uh, you know, good balance and for especially like being mobile and lateral movement, stuff like that. Then I want something that's super comfortable. Then I want something that I could wear to work or wear on the golf course. And this is the first shoe that I can wear anywhere mm. and everywhere. Okay. You, you can know? work out in the shoe. Oh, absolutely. I've, I could work out with the shoe untied, but, you know, you tie them up. Mm -hmm. The only thing I will say, it gives you a false sense of athleticism ah. because they're so stable. But <laughs> uh, finding that. the comfort and the technology in the shoe is something that I was really putting a lot of emphasis on. And... Uh, you know, something that you can do anything. In. You okay. mentioned working out. Your workouts are, are, are the stuff of legend. Uh, <laughs> it's not enough for him to work out once a day. He typically works out at least twice a day, I'm told. Oh my not God. anymore. No, you're so. <laughs> now that I'm older, I realize that for me, it's all about, you know, longevity. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. yes. That's but so but no. you say the recovery is crucial to the workout. Yeah. And there, you, on Instagram, you've been posting these ice baths uh -huh. that, that you, like, it's like pop-up ice baths that you create wherever <laughs> you are. Oh, how did this come to be? Well, because uh, a, f a friend of mine that I'm working with to try to, you know, live longer and be healthier told me that the best way to start the day is to get into cold water no matter where I'm at. So at, at home I have one outside, but it's usually 40 degrees in the morning when I go out there. Get into 42 degree water for five to six minutes. And six so minutes? That's a long yeah. time. So then Ooh. when I started doing it, I was like, then I'm traveling and I'm going to hotels. I went to my daughter's horse show first and, you know, it's a tiny little tub, but thankfully... Each one of these hotels has an ice machine on the floor. Oh, that's getting like oh, taking all the ice, ice from it. Exactly. Taking all the ice from every floor and loading it up. But I always feel a lot better. And I was just talking to Mike, the doc, the sleep doc. Yeah. It actually helps me sleep a lot better, and mm. I don't feel the aches and pains that I do, and, yeah. not, and no inflammation. So. Before, well, after just, the shower. Before, before anything. Okay. I get in there, and normally he said, if you want, you can after take a warm shower. But I just kind of dry off, put some clothes on, and go into the gym. Oof. He's not built like us. No, no. he's not built like that's us. That's it. Tell him about the shrinkage. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I was that's a real thing. Oh, that's a real thing. 
I was thinking it. Of course, you would say it. I'm sorry. I love it. Mark, thank you so much. We really appreciate yes, seeing you. Thank you so much. All right. And uh, don't forget, Mark's new sneakers, Origin from Municipal, are out now. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.